Good morning. It is Wednesday the 15th of July and I'm off to Bart's on a Wednesday. So um, I was advised to speak to this hotline at Bart's regarding this cough and the breathlessness that I've been having. So I spoke to them yesterday, I spoke to the nurse and she said, well, she was asking me a few questions and then she said, can I give you a call back? So she called me back. She said, right, I've spoken to the doctor. We need to see you tomorrow. So I'm going there today just to get this cough, breathlessness looked at and <coughs> hopefully coming back very quickly and then going back on Friday for treatment hopefully yeah so that's all heading off to Bart's now so I'm here in Bart's in this little room. I've just had some bloods taken and I had a Covid swab. It goes right up your nose, up like here it feels like, and all around the back of your throat. And I've just been for an x-ray as well, so just waiting to hear back, see what's going on. Ah, and I also had um, some blood taken f to check if I've got the COVID antibodies. So that will be interesting. Uh, <coughs> so I've just spoken with the registrar and she says they can tell on the x-ray that there is something going on in the lungs, whether it's an infection that I've had before or if it's something that's been caused by treatment or if it's something that's happening because of the cancer they can't tell that from the x-ray so I'm gonna go for a CT scan just heard my cannula put in and that will hopefully tell them a little bit more so that's all and what was also interesting is I told the registrar that my heart rate has been going up recently like by two beats per minute every day and I know because I wear a Fitbit and she was quite interested to hear that and she was like oh can I have a look at the chart on the Fitbit so I showed her the chart and she said oh okay yeah I can see it's it used to be 69 beats per minute on the 30th of June and now it's like 82 so she said, it looks like whatever's happened has started happening then. So from like the 30th of June. So yeah, it was quite interesting that she wanted to see the Fitbit chart. So I'm back from the CT scan. I've forgotten how much fun they are. They're actually, they're very quick, but they, um, see if you're having one with contrast, which is what goes through the cannula. As the cannula, as the contrast goes through your body, you get this really warm sensation passing through. So it starts in your mouth, and then this warmness flushes all the way down, and this warm sensation makes you feel like you're wetting yourself. You just feel warm there, and it's like, oh my god, I've wet myself. But luckily, <coughs> the first uh, first CT scan I had, the person warned me, the nurse, he said, you will feel like you're wetting yourself. And then, sure enough, yes. Every time, you feel like you're wetting yourself. Now, I'm just waiting in my little room and hopefully <laughs> get some results and maybe some medication that can help and then I'll go home. So I've just seen the doctor again post CT scan <coughs> and the good thing is 
that the, the what they can see looks inflammatory, so not cancer. Yay! And what we're going to do about it is drain the liquid. So there's a lot of liquid in both lungs, which is what's making me breathless and cough. So I'm going home tonight. I've just had the cannula out. Look at all these bits I'm covered in. Uh, cannula is out and I can go home tonight and then I'm being booked in for treatment. Not treatment. I'm being booked in to have the drainage one day this week, I think. Um, but it will mean an overnight stay. <coughs> and it will also mean treatment is delayed because if they give me more, it's just going to... More immunotherapy, it's just going to irritate... Um, everything even more so they don't want to do that but the good thing is that this reaction in the lungs it means that the immunotherapy is having an effect in the body so that's good um i'm a bit hot in here but yeah just looking forward to going home and i guess i'll be back again in a couple of days Good <coughs> morning. Alfie, what are you doing? <coughs> Good morning. <coughs> God. Right. <coughs> Today is Thursday the 6th. <coughs> Thursday the 16th of July. And I just thought I'd give a quick update because I can't remember what update I gave last night when I was leaving the hospital. Um, and I also don't think I'd really fully taken in everything that had been said to me. So, the update is what is going on in my lungs after having an x-ray and a CT scan has been confirmed... <coughs> as an infection and yesterday I didn't really take in just how good that is that it is an infection because all along I've been told there's something going on in the lungs we're not sure if it's lung involvement from the cancer or if it's an infection so the fact now that it's being treated as an infection is fantastic news that means it's not lung involvement it's not the cancer in the lungs so that is brilliant. I am taking a course of antibiotics, which I really didn't want to have to do because I've been doing a lot of work on improving my gut. And your gut is so important for your immune system. And it's also so important for immunotherapy to have a healthy gut. So the fact that I have to take antibiotics, I was... I was not going to do it and then I thought about it and I just thought if they drain my lungs to get rid of this liquid fine but the infection might still be there so I'll just be back to square one so I started the course of antibiotics last night and Alfie what are you up to? Do you want to come here? Oi! No? <coughs> so I started the course of the anti <laughs> antibiotics last night and it's a week long. <coughs> so hopefully this cough will start to ease off and hopefully the lung drainage will be happening sometime soon, within the next couple of days. I'm just waiting for the phone call actually. And then so treatment this week is postponed and hopefully then once the antibiotics get to work and the lungs have been drained I'll be breathing a lot better and then I can get back on to treatment so yeah 
that's the update. Alfie, what are you up to? Hi. So yeah, that's the update. Very good news, very good news that it's not lung involvement and it's an infection. And I'm still waiting for those COVID results. I'm sure I have not got COVID. And I'm pretty certain the antibody test will come back never negative because I don't think I've had COVID, but we'll see. We shall see. This boy is such a lap dog. I don't know why he's sat there staring at my lap. Come on. There we go. There we go. He could he would sit on someone's lap all day long if he could, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you?